guys? Gonna do a hot sauce video. Um, I just went to the website. I'm gonna reference the website in this video because I'm trying the stuff from the Chili Factory, which I did an awesome unboxing from Australia. And I found their website fairly easily. Um, and I'm gonna link directly to them. I don't know any hot sauce companies that sells this stuff I haven't seen before. So I guess direct would be the only way to go. Unless, of course, maybe you live in Australia and they have them in your local thing, local stores. Uh, but anyway, this first one I'm going to try is the Fiery Frill Neck Hiss. This is hot, smoky chili tomato sauce. Um, this is 8 bucks on their website. And what you can't see in the bottle, which you can read on the web website, which I'm looking at over there, is some uh, awards that this sa sauce won. It won third, uh, third prize bronze award for the Sydney Royal Fine Food Show, August 2006. First uh, prize, best hot sauce uh, in the tomato category. Uh, from the Australian Fiery Food Award, 2004, third prize for um, best prepared sauce, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can go to the website and read all this stuff, but I'm going to actually I'm gonna bookmark this exact page so you can go to that later if you want. But anyway, uh, yeah, $8 for this bottle. This is 240 milliliters or 8.1 fluid ounces. Um, cool shaped bottle. I like that. Something, just something a little bit different. You know, it's not the normal, just regular old hot sauce bottle. I like things that are different. So ingredients on this are tomato, 71%, uh, cayenne and habanero chili, 12%, water, natural smoke flavor, 4%, balsamic vinegar, sugar, salt, garlic, herbs, and spices. Um, now they're giving this a 9 out of 10 as far as heat, for heat level. So I'm going to give it a good shake. And... Um, I know this is like cheating, but I'm not going to use my Cricut because like most sauces, there's a little preparation on here. And there you go. So, but when the, the going gets tough, of course, Mr. Cricut pops out and always helps save the day. So, the sauce seems pretty thick. Let's pop it, give it a sniff. Oh my god. Wow. That smells fantastic. Oh, all right. First of all, it um, doesn't smell like a hot sauce so much as it smells like a barbecue sauce. A really delicious barbecue sauce. Um, garlic is popping out there. Um, it, it, a very sweet smell. It really smells sweet. I, I, it, you know, it kind of smells... I mean, you definitely smell the smoke in there. I was going to say it kind of smells like um, smoked chilies, but that's because it, there's smoke in here. Um, yeah, smoke flavor, 4%. The balsamic vinegar, I was trying to, that's interesting. I love balsamic vinegar and lots of stuff, but I've only had it in the sauce once before, and it was very subtle. I never tasted it. It just smells like sweet and sour, smoky barbecue sauce, but it smells really good. Awesome. All right, I'm doing a huge spoonful of this, my little gold spoon. All right, here we go. The consistency is pretty thick, chunky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to spill my keyboard. All right, down the hatch because it's, it's spilling, but there's chunks in there. I actually see a pepper chunk. I see a little bit of black pepper. Um, maybe even chunks of tomatoes, but anyway, here we go before I spill it. Hmm. Oh, wow. Those were chunks of tomatoes. Hmm. Okay, now, first goes in. It's delicious. You get a little bit of heat. And you swallow it, and all the flavor goes down, and it lingers a little bit. There's um, smokiness or char that lingers in the background that hangs around with the heat. Heat builds a little bit. Um, it's 9 out of 10 for their like company, their market 9 out of 10. It's not that bad, guys. Uh, I want to say this is probably on par with a, a Frank's Red Hot as far as heat. But not that same, um, uh, Frank's, because the vinegar sauces have a different type of heat. It's kind of like a, a stinging type heat. This has almost like a dry heat. All around the mouth, um, very, very little in the throat, hardly any. It's basically the inside of the lips, a um, little bit on the tongue, or mostly the roof of the mouth. That's where a lot of this is hitting. But nice little chunks of tomato in there. Beautiful smoky flavor. Actually, I would love to use this on a um, uh, piece of pork, you know, pork that I would grill 
and then baste this in this and then actually just use it like a dipping sauce too. It would be awesome. But it's so good, I'm actually going to do another spoonful. It's fantastic. Nice and chunky. Mm. Now, something worth men mentioning. It's chunky, but there's not. it's not chunky like lots of seeds and hard bits in it. It's a smooth chunkiness. Um, yeah, the heat, initially it's like nothing. It's like, oh, uh, okay, it's kind of hot. And then you get, when you hit with the, like the big heat, it's not like a super strong, not even like up to, say, a habanero heat. Um, if you can eat a jalapeno, a fresh jalapeno, you can certainly stomach this uh, as far as heat. But the flavor is all there. It's really good. You can even see um, some of the herbs, you know, in the neck part where the sauce is now missing. Kind of clung to the side of the, uh, the glass there. It's really good. I like it. Um, I don't taste the balsamic vinegar at all. However, you know, if you have to use vinegar for a sauce, because a lot of them do, um, why not use a good vinegar like balsamic instead of using just straight white vinegar or something? Actually get some flavor in there. Like I said, you don't have a, balsam a specific balsamic flavor with this, but um, you don't have any of that. I don't taste any vinegar at all, period. And that's probably contributing to the fact that it has a balsamic. I'm actually starting to drool quite, quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's getting the, the drooling going, but it's not it's not that hot. It's nice. It's a nice, even, warming feel in the mouth. It's not like a crazy burn at all. Um, I don't know where they get the 9 out of 10. Uh, maybe that's just for flavor, because it's pretty good for flavor. Uh, my, no, my personal thing, 10 being like, I love it. I can drink it out of the bottle. I don't really need food to put it on. And 1 being like, this is gross. I probably won't ever have it again. Uh, I'll probably give this like a 7. It's good. It's really good. Um, but the heat level is perfect. It's just, it's it's consumer hot. Put it that way. Most people would put this on food and go, oh yeah, that's got a bite to it. Chili heads, it's nothing. It's nothing for us. But it's tasty. And I'll certainly use the rest of this bottle on some different meats. Actually, it'd be good on chicken too. So that's it. That's the uh, the Fiery Grill Neck Kiss um, Smoky Chili Tomato Sauce. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the uh, Chipotle style sauces, they, they fall flat. Either they're way too smoky, like disgustingly smoky, or not smoky enough. This is probably perfect. Even though there's not one mention of Chipotle in here, that's basically what you're getting is a smoked, barbecued, uh, flavored chili. And it's very delicious. Um, as far as the chilies themselves, more, definitely more cayenne flavor than habanero flavor. So anyway, that's all. It's fantastic. It's good stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you soon with new videos. Take care, guys.